When adding items to OmniFocus, it can be helpful to include one or more links in the notes field. The more convenient it is to take action, the more likely you are to complete items on your list. Conversely, if there's a lot of friction involved, you may find yourself procrastinating. For example, let's say that you're browsing Apple's website on your aging iPad and decide it's time to upgrade to an iPad Pro. Assuming this isn't something you're going to do right away, it makes sense to create an action in OmniFocus. I'll go ahead and create an action by tapping on the Share button in the toolbar, and then tapping OmniFocus. If OmniFocus doesn't appear in the top row, tap on the More button and turn OmniFocus on. You can also use the drag handle to reposition OmniFocus. When you're finished, tap Done. I'll use the default Buy iPad Pro text as the title of the action, and we'll add this to the Administration single action list with a context of Moderate. Notice that the Notes field contains a link to the web page that I'm viewing. I could add some additional notes, such as what size and configuration I'm going to purchase, but I'll leave this as is for now. Now let's switch over to OmniFocus and tap on the action we just created. If I tap quickly on the link, you'll notice that I go into edit mode. This could be useful if your goal is to edit the link, but that's not what we want to do in this case. I'll switch to the info tab and then go back to the note tab. This time I'll tap and hold on the link, and after about two seconds we'll be presented with a menu. From here I can open the link in Safari, add it to the Safari reading list, copy it to the clipboard, or share it. For example, if there's someone else making the purchase, I might want to send them a message with a link to the Buy Now page. You can get rid of this menu by tapping outside of the menu area. If you simply want to open the link in Safari without invoking the menu, simply tap and hold the link for about a second, and then release. If the tap is too short, then you'll go into Edit Mode, and if it's too long, you'll bring up the menu. I'm Tim Stringer from Learn OmniFocus. Thanks for watching.